We are back with another fairy tale fierce fight video and today we're going to be pulling for what some people would consider one of the most useless characters in the game that is an SSR like it's crazy that they disrespected this man so much in the game when he is absolute fire in the anime and the the manga manga however you say it right like he is one of my favorite characters guild arts is absolutely amazing and the reason you guys haven't seen fairy tale fierce fight content recently or, or at least not a lot of it is just because the game hasn't had anything new really added to it recently I don't know if it's going to I hope it does I really like the game but it's a, it's a good game to pick up if you want to play casually i wouldn't necessarily recommend spending money on it right now with the state of the game it's really big in china but like globally i feel like it's not doing that great and i feel like a lot of that comes from their advertising but uh yeah so i have 63 tickets here and then i have 21,000 diamonds that i've been saving up and i also spent part of the diamonds i had i had like 40,000 on the limited recruit for Mira that's right there, but I am going to save these tickets and I'm not going to summon just yet because eventually I'm going to try to get Minerva to a full six stars because Minerva is actually goaded and in my opinion like the best fest character. So I'm saving my tickets for that. But on Guild Arts today, I want to summon for this character because I only have him at four stars. And a lot of people say he gets better at five stars, not anything broken. And then if I was really, really lucky, I would like to get him to six stars. But realistically, it usually takes the full 70 pity to get even one copy. So I'm going to be using all these tickets and some gems to get one copy. If I'm lucky, it's not even guaranteed to pity him you got to keep that in mind as well because when you go into this you could end up pulling him or you could pull any of these other ssrs now he is rated up a little bit so that helps your chances but i've had it happen plenty of times where i pull these other ssrs like i don't need makarov i don't need a single copy of him because i have him fully star six i have him ascended right I, I just don't need a copy of him so that's a big l if i pull him so hopefully not but we'll see how this goes i also have 1200 exchange points right here those exchange points allow you to buy these boxes the boxes do have tickets and gems in them as well so a chance to uh potentially pull more on this banner and then these banners are really nice because they give you tickets back like the, the gotcha system in this game is set up really really well uh, I feel like the advertising is just lacking, but it is what it is. I enjoy the game. Hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and let's get into these summons. I've yapped long enough. Professional yapper. All right. So no, no sparkles there for Mira Jane, meaning we're not going to get anything. So I'm going to go ahead and skip. We did get a couple of uh, rares and SR. At this point, I have all my SRs up to six stars and I'm just working on. I actually have probably enough pieces for every single SR to uh, transcend them i just gotta wait for the amount of materials to be able to do it for every sr character okay we got urza that's fine this urza is really goaded as an sr character by the way you should be working on her if you're not already if you're new to the game that's an sr character you do want to invest in ultier is actually pretty decent as well as far as sr characters go um not i would say urza is still higher investment i'll try to point out the srs to you guys so that hopefully this video has some help for you if you're thinking about playing the game or new to the game uh, we've already seen her, so we already know about her. We did get some Kana fragments, but, like, Kana's not that great. Wendy, very good. Very, very, one of the best supporters in the game that you can have. Absolutely will carry you through PvE content. Definitely worth having. Continuing. Still, oh, I was gonna say, still no sparkles, but finally. Okay, so that wasn't a full seven summons, because we got it within the tickets. Let's go. To get an SSR before we hit the full 70 pity, I love that. That is so uncommon. I'm very, very happy about that. Now, is it the one we need? Guild Arts, please. Yeah, you can't shaft me on the Guild Arts banner. You know no one is pulling on this banner besides me. I am literally probably the only one pulling on this banner besides a new player. If anyone has this character, no one else is doing what I'm doing right now. Guaranteed, because it's just not worth it to them. So we got that in six multis. I got a one multi early. I'll take it. It's better than nothing, right? I got three tickets left. I'm able to get some tickets right here. I'm going to wait to grab those. I'm going to use my diamonds first. I'm going to see where we end up. I'm just going to keep summoning until I'm broke on this banner. Whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. We'll see. If they come out with a new character right after this, I'm going to be heartbroken, but it is what it is, right? So I really want to try to get this guy at least to five stars. And then if I get him to five stars as close as I can to six, uh, the nice thing about this game is it feels like at least since they're not releasing characters all the time, you have time to progress your characters in your account. But at the same time, it's a bit worrisome that they don't release other content in the game yet because they have the Orashion Sace ready to go. Like they have two characters ready to go, but they just haven't released the next levels of Orashion Sace yet. So as long as they release content, I don't care if they like take longer on the gotchas because that's actually fine because this game gives you so much to work on. 
but I would like to see more content in the game come out to make me feel like the game's in a good place. So, it is what it is, though. Alright, we continue. 2,800 diamonds. If it could just give me a character, like, first summon in, right, that would be amazing. It's happened to me, like, uh, a total of maybe three times. I think one time I got it on video. So, is what it is. Um, yeah, nothing too special about these SRs, really. Uh, Elfman was before ulti or there. Elfman's not really that great. Uh, another Wendy. Wendy's good. Okay, we can go ahead and skip that. If you ever get a rare Natsu, rare Natsu, very, very good too. You should invest in him. All rares and SRs can become SSRs in this game, by the way, if you did not know that. So, that's one thing that's nice. Nothing again. Okay, this time it's it's a pity time. I think we need three copies of Guildards to uh, be able to get him to five or yeah five stars where we want him. So we'll we'll see if we get that. I got more tickets there. I need to get to 200 pity to be able to pity him. I don't have enough here, but if I get enough from like this exchange and the tickets, I might be able to make it work. We'll see. All right, another ult here. Okay, where are we at on the summons? I, I was just on the screen. We got one. <laughs> it's going to make me go all the way. All right, one more multi here. We should pity something. Hopefully, Guild Arts, ideally, right? But it's not guaranteed to be Guild Arts. Sparkles. Sometimes you get two. It's rare, but that would be sick. And it's Makarov. Literally, what did I tell you guys at the beginning of the video? What did I tell you guys at the beginning of the video? I don't need you. I don't need this freaking... Ah, okay. Well... There, there's there's the big L. That That's the L for the video. That is the biggest, fattest, stinkiest, sloppiest, wettest L I could ever take. Because I just don't need him. Like, those pieces serve literally no purpose now for me. Like, if I go into my wizards, right? I go to wizards, I go here. Uh, yeah, there, there's nothing. I ascend and I use these materials. I don't need his pieces. If I could use his pieces for ascension, that'd be great. But, like, I don't need to star him up. Starring up, I... I, I Ah, uh, uh, I think I have a couple of copies of him at this point. Like, I think I, I probably have like a hundred. Yeah, I have 120. I pulled him twice since I finished him. That makes me so sad. F that. That's terrible. Okay, continuing. That's rough. Man, why does the game do this to me? I swear. That's actually tragic. All right, we'll continue. Um, Let's get these rewards. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got a full ten, so that's a full multi right there. That'll get us almost to the extra multi right there as well. That that actually should get us there, so we'll get two multis here, which is good. Nothing on this summon either. To be expected. That's okay. And so now we go ahead and we claim these rewards here, and we're 50 away from pity, a guaranteed copy. So if I pull one more copy, and then I get the guaranteed copy, I'm set, right? That was the goal for this video. We'll see if we can make it there, though, because this summon ain't it. If we... Ah, oh, man. If we could just pull them early, that'd be so great. Uh, yeah, double SR multi is not bad, though. Double SR is just nice. We got three more multis we got to be able to do. I don't think I don't think this gets us there, but uh, who knows? 14 of these boxes, right? There's, there's a chance, maybe. All right, so we go back here. Uh, let's go ahead and receive that real quickly. Have I grabbed my... I don't think I've grabbed my free diamonds yet. Every little bit helps, right? Free diamonds. We'll take that. That's something. Oh, wait. I think I had... Now this is the mysterious shop. Yeah, diamonds there. So make sure you grab your free diamonds. There's always a few free diamonds to be grabbed everywhere. Oh, we got recruit tickets as well. That's not terrible. These are for the elite recruit, though. They are not for the recruit that you would want to summon on, unfortunately. And then now we go to our backpack, grab these. All right, let's hope for some. <laughs> let's hope for some tickets. Tickets are way better than diamonds, actually, in this particular case. But we'll see. Game, please nice me. Nine tickets. Okay, that's that's decent at least. That's a multi. So we got a multi out of this. We got some random SSRs. Uh, shard? Shard? Is that a random? It's a random SSR. That's just a straight up SSR character. Okay, that's not bad. And then we got some shards. We're at 58 out of 60 to get another random SSR. So that's two random SSRs we can almost have right now. That's kind of cool, right? So that that's a nice give me back. I'll take it. Um, how many tickets are we at on this now? 86 on this. I have like 140 there. Okay. We can do at least one more summon. I think I'm going to be a little bit short of getting to where I want to be. That's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Okay. Well, let's summon there. Alright, Aragor. 
nothing there. Okay, so what I can do, what I can do, and the nice thing about this is if you are going to spend on this game, this is the only way to spend, right? Is go to the battle order menu and you want to go to like whichever tier you're at, like this one, I have everything done, right? And so I, I haven't bought it, obviously. If I decide to buy this tier, I get a lot of diamonds right there. Same thing with these other ones. I have, you know, the previous tiers unlocked already. Tower of Heaven. Tower of Heaven gives you a lot. It's a little bit more expensive. It's $15, but kind of worth it for me to buy that because then I would be able to finish out these summons. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to cut ahead real quick and we'll be back on the summons. So just for reference, buying that one tier, right? Look at look at how many diamonds I have now. 14,000. So that's really not a terrible, terrible deal. But then you also got to take into consideration uh, summoning costs you 2,800 diamonds to buy 10 tickets, right? So it, it's still expensive. But we're four summons away from pitying a character, two away from getting a pity right here. Hopefully, hopefully that two pity will give us a copy of Guild Arts. We'll see. If we could get one right now. Nope, no sparkles before that. Dang it, man. Game. All right, so nothing on that one. That means this summon, we are guaranteed to get something. Hopefully a Guild Arts, please. If it's Makarov again, I'm going to cry. I'm actually going to cry. Please, please, game. I would take Juvia too. That's great. Perfect. I would also take Juvia. I would be okay with that because I'm trying to actually get her ascended right now. Uh, so that would be sick. I just need a couple more copies of her to do that. I, I will take a Guild Arts all day though. That's massive. Okay. Very big. All right, that is one copy down. We just need to do two more summons, right? Two more summons and we get a guaranteed copy there. So that's what we're going to do. We should have, yeah, we have enough to do it. So beautiful, perfect, we are set. And then we can go and get this boy to five stars. And then I will maybe do an updated showcase. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see an updated showcase on Guild Arts because he was one of the first characters I ever did a showcase for on this game. Honestly, I was disappointed at the time kind of with how he, he performed. Uh, so... I feel like now, nowadays, if we get him to five stars, maybe I can make him look a little bit better. I know a little bit more about the game now, how to build characters and stuff like that, so that helps me out. Yeah, I'm not, that's, these are ridiculous. Don't ever buy these. For the love of everything that is holy, never ever buy these. Like, that. that is so not worth it in any way, shape, or form. That is not worth it, okay? Don't ever do that. Anyways, going back down to Guild Arts, you can see how low he is. Like, I have him maxed, guys. At four stars, I have him as maxed as he goes, and he's this far down on my roster. Like... That's crazy, right? Some of those characters above him, well, most of them are max, but not all of them. Other than his energy circle. His energy circle's at 52 out of 60, but we're, we're getting there. But yeah, let's go ahead and star up the boy. We should be able, yeah, we should definitely be able to get him there. All right, he's gonna improve by leaps and bounds here. We'll see how far he goes up on the roster. Yeah, so we need exactly three copies to get from four stars to five stars. In case you guys did not know that. Once you get to uh, five stars, getting from five to six, it takes you so many copies. It's actually insane. But it's worth it to upgrade this passive skill. Like, that's going to help him out a lot. All right, there we go. Beautiful. All right, that puts him up to 558,000. That's actually phenomenal. I'm very happy with that. And then so you can see it takes one, two, three, four, five, six copies to get him to six stars. I'm not getting that today, but it, it is doable in the future if I save up my diamonds again, right? And then try to get him to six stars, but very happy with that. Let's take a look at where we are in ranking progress now. Uh, so we were number 11. We are a little bit higher than that now, right? I think, yeah, right now that moved us from 11, 11 to seven. Uh, it's not great, man. These people are all so high, man. Why? Who invested? Who put 785,000 into guild arts? Who are you, man? Oh my gosh. Exodus, I think, has put a lot in on everybody, though. I think Exodus is the top player for, like, most of the server. I guess they don't have anything on... on how do they not have anything? What? Leo is way better than both of these characters. I don't understand. Okay. Anyways. At least that's my opinion. But let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, I guess. But yeah, that will net me some diamonds though. The nice thing though, for having, having him at uh, where I have him and then being in seventh place, I get 1600 diamonds, right? If I could get into the top five, I could get a few more diamonds. I I mean, I might be able to do it with the energy circle and improving that a little bit. But other than that, it's uh, a little bit hard. I could improve these a little bit too, but it takes, you know, gear takes a lot of resources to get past that level where it's at. But 558,000, not bad. In comparison to where the rest of my roster is now, let's see where he ends up. He should be a little bit higher, I think, right? Yeah, he's a little bit higher. He was, he was like all the way down here, right? Or 
No, he was like right here. He was like right here. So he went up one tier, I guess. That's better than nothing. We can go to the gallery and you do this. Give him a little bit more, right? So now he's at 558,550. He didn't move much at all. But yeah, that is the summon video for Guild Arts. Once again, if you guys would like to see me test him out now at five stars and see if he looks any better than he did previously, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Peace.